There's been a legal saga over real estate commissions south of the border. Um, there now apparently is a deadline in place. Um, they, the industry has until mid-August to implement policy changes relating to commissions. Our guest says these policy changes have the potential to cut down on the number of realtors in the market. And with the Canadian version of these lawsuits also continuing, he expects similar, a similar impact on this side of the border. Let's bring in Walter Melanson, co-founder and market analyst at PropertyGuys.com. Thanks for joining us. Of course, you guys compete with the regular real estate industry, don't you? Uh, we do. Uh, we do, Andy. PropertyGuys.com allows uh, sellers to pay as little as $499 to access its platform. And then it, what it does is it has a marketplace that unbundles real estate services, mm -hmm. allowing consumers to pay as much or as little uh, as they want in terms of how much they offer for commission. Um, the, so remind us what's happened in the States after all this litigation. What is going to happen to commissions? Well, I think you used a great word, saga. So there's been a saga. It's been, um, it's been uh, in the works for close to four years now. Um, it's down to the deadline. We're looking at one month, one day. So as of August 17th, there will be no longer any uh, buyer agency commission listed on any MLS system in the United States. So this is a pretty big deal. What, what does that mean, sorry? Well, the way traditional real estate uh, works is that there's a buyer's uh, agent commission and a sell side agent commission. And until now, um, until these rules take effect on August 17th, that's how the market has been. But on August 17th, the big change is that real estate agents, when you hire one, they will no longer be listing the amount of commission payable to the buyer agent, which is generally half of the real estate commission. So if you're looking at a five or 6% real estate commission, you can bet that half of that is being offered up to a buyer agent. That's how it works in Canada today. That's how it works in the US today. But on August 17th, it will be no more and um, it's all um, as a result of these class action lawsuits in the United States. So this will, will this tend to bring down commissions in the US? We think so, we think so, and we're not the only ones uh, thinking that. Um, the uh, Consumer Federation of America has said that it could drive uh, cost for sellers down as much as uh, 30%. Uh, we are tracking against that number, and what that means in the big scheme of things, if we um, look at the market a year out, so this time next year, let's say August 17th, it's our prediction that real estate commissions will have fallen from the 5 6% mark down to the 3 4% mark, and that's... Um, Lots is going to happen in a very small amount of time for that to uh, transpire that way. Could we see a, a big drop in commissions in Canada as well? If we saw a big drop in commissions here in Canada, so the short answer is yes, mm -hmm. but there's a few things that are going to need to happen first. So we've got two uh, Canadian class action suits um, in the works that look a lot like the American actions. They're similar in a lot of ways. Our systems are so similar that we need to believe that a result of these class actions will inevitably be something that helps change the Canadian landscape for the better, giving Canadian consumers uh, more relief as it relates to commission and really driving a situation where Canadian consumers start shopping for real estate services in a way like they've never done before, because that's what we're predicting is going to start to take place in the United States of America. It won't be business as usual for most real estate groups. Instead, consumers are starting to get an upper hand, or we hope that's what happens. Mm -hmm. And uh, all that means is that consumers are gonna feel better about talking to their real estate professional asking more questions, but more so negotiating commission. Real estate commissions are supposed to be negotiable. 
Um, and remember, negotiation is something that the Department of Justice was looking at uh, very strongly in the United States, and they found that there was some price fixing in the market, there was some, some conspiracy in the market, and all of that was to falsely inflate the cost of commission. So we do hope that whatever's happening there that's good for the consumer does come here to Canada and will benefit the Canadian consumer also. And your take would be that we, we could see a lot of these the so-called part-time real estate agents and salespeople in Canada just dropping out? 100% that's what's going to happen because what happens is the new agents, um, the part-time agents, they, they make up a, a large percentage of the market and they can be in real estate and do, you know, one, two, three transactions a year. And those one, two, three transactions a year are being taken away from other agents who are more seasoned. So when we look at the U.S. landscape, for example, you have a contingency of expert agents that have been in the system for 16 plus years compared to an agent that's been in the business 16 minutes. Mm -hmm. What if I told you that the 16 year veteran gets the same paycheck as the 16 minute first deal, first transaction person? Mm -hmm. You would say that doesn't make any sense. So these are some of the big, big changes that are going to happen. Um, by changing the rules and the policies and the laws, you change behavior. And by changing uh, the behavior of real estate agents, you're going to change outcomes. And that outcome should be uh, a big relief for consumers at some point.